Hello and welcome to our first look at Make Sale, a physics-based book constructing simulator with an emphasis on exploration developed by Pop Cannibal and released into Steam Early Access in March 2018. For disclosure, I received this game for free. The setup behind the game is a simple one. Long ago, people gathered around a magical tower with a myriad of chimes, which for a time did spread calm and prosperity. However, as other islands called to them, the people began to remove the chimes and to sail away, after which the tower got upset and unleashed a violent storm. The descendants of these people then attempted to bring the chimes back to the tower, but the force of the storm was too much, sinking the fleet of ships that approached. As a survivor of the fleet, you awaken in the eye of the storm, desperate to calm the seas by returning said chimes. The core loop is simply sailing the seas to the different islands, picking up chimes and ship parts, and returning said chimes to the tower at the center of the map. Doing so will calm the storm a little, increasing the range of the islands that you can explore, with, I presume, the ultimate objective of returning all chimes and resolving the issue. There isn't much more to the loop, which does seem simple as of now, but the core fun lies in the ship building. As a physics-based game, do expect your usual assortment of bugs and glitches since things do not fit exactly right together. But I really did enjoy the sailing, modification, and rebuilding of the ships. The tech behind the physics in this game is pretty impressive in that there are realistic feeling systems such as wind, drag, and lift, a buoyancy system, and of course, the rudder, interacting in unique ways that actually makes this feel more like sailing a ship rather than in other games where ships control like cars on water. For example, pushing the up button doesn't accelerate the ship, but rather raises the sail. You then have to angle and catch the wind in order to move, and of course, flotation and density of the ship plays an important role. The game even has a handbook with some common construction tips, such as what to do if your ship is tipping over, or where is the best location to place your sails. Of course, physics comes into play as the designs get more complicated and even more interesting is in the case of sailing into an obstruction such as rocks, parts of your ship may get destroyed but there may just be a chance that it could still float and work to some extent. If you are not into the creative aspect, you do find parts and blueprints for pre-built ships which do function pretty well but I do like messing around in these sandboxes to see what I can make. Just look at this monstrosity for example, three sails, all of the flotation barrels available to me, a vertical narwhal horn for some reason, and a density greater than water which should make it sink but somehow manages to continue sailing even while tipping forward. Through a projected one year early access period, the developers plan to add more parts, islands, creatures, polish, and a new game plus boat with the objective of making this the best boat building spectacle. From what I have played, I really enjoyed the tinkering aspect and the pure physics-based sailing experience, so I'm waiting for a more polished final product. Anyway, that will do it for this video, thank you for watching, be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, follow my Steam Curator, and check out the subreddit to keep up with the best indie games, and I will see you in the next video.